Welcome to our review of radiation in and out of atoms. First thing we're going to consider is looking at these electron shells in our atom in a little bit more detail. So we already know that electrons occupy shells around the nucleus, but they actually occupy certain energy levels around the nucleus and different atoms have different energy levels. So what we find is the electrons usually occupy the lowest possible energy level because that's the smallest distance from the nucleus, as you can see in the diagram at the bottom there. In our previous physics work, we've had a look at the ray model and wave model for electromagnetic radiation. But we do have a third model called the photon model. So in the photon model, electromagnetic radiation is emitted and absorbed as packets of energy called photons, hence the name. The energy of each photon is proportional to the frequency. So what we actually find is that in order to excite an electron to a higher energy level, a photon of the right energy must be absorbed by it. So once that photon has been absorbed, the electron moves to the higher energy level and the atom is then in an excited state. So if we take some hydrogen gas and pass light of all frequencies through it, then what we find is some of those frequencies are actually absorbed. So we can produce an hydrogen absorption spectrum, which is at the bottom there. So an absorption spectrum will show us the set of frequencies of radiation that's absorbed by an atom when excited electrons are moving to those higher energy levels. Because those little bands of black that you can see in the spectrum there, those are the frequencies that have been absorbed. So we know that they're the photons that the electrons have actually absorbed to become excited and move to the higher energy level. If a photon has enough energy, then it can end up completely removing an electron from the atom. And then we say that the atom has been ionized. So what we find is that the photons that actually have enough energy to ionize atoms are those of the ultraviolet, X-ray and gamma ray frequencies. So we've had a look to see what happens when electromagnetic radiation is absorbed by atoms, but atoms also emit radiation. So when the electrons move from a higher to a lower energy level, they will emit radiation. And what we can produce is an emission spectrum to show the set of frequencies of radiation emitted by an atom as those excited electrons move from their higher energy level to the lower energy level. And I've given you the example of hydrogen at the bottom there. So the different coloured bands, those are actually the spectrum emission lines that show the radiation being emitted as the electrons are moving from their higher energy level to the lower energy level. The actual frequency of radiation emitted will depend on the difference in energy of the energy levels the electrons are moving between. So this energy change can actually take place in one go or in two or more stages. So if it occurs over two or more stages, then the emitted photons have less energy, lower frequencies and longer wavelengths than if they were emitted in just one move. The largest energy difference is from an energy level just below ionization, which hopefully is quite logical. If obviously to ionize something, we've given it enough energy to completely leave, then just below that level is going to give us the largest energy difference. Now, what we find is that's going to vary in different atoms. So because obviously there are going to be different levels that those electrons can get to before being completely emitted, then what we find is the energy difference will be different in different atoms. So hydrogen, for example, can emit ultraviolet photons, but carbon can emit X-ray photons. So they're different frequencies there as a result of the difference in the energy difference. Hopefully we remember from our work on the electromagnetic spectrum that gamma rays are the highest energy radiation. And the gamma rays are actually emitted from the nuclei. So what we find is we've got protons and neutrons that are occupying energy levels in the nucleus and they can actually emit gamma rays as the energy involved there is much higher than what we see with our electrons. 
Hopefully at the end of this video you can describe how electrons are arranged in atoms. You can describe what happens when atoms absorb electromagnetic radiation and what happens when atoms emit electromagnetic radiation. And you can also describe what happens when atoms gain or lose electrons.